the next thing we're going to look at uh, would be the table tag. Um, a table has several elements. First of all is the initial table tag, uh, which declares that we're about to make a table. Next is going to be the table row, um, which says we're going to start a new row. And inside a table row, we need a column, which is the TD tag. And you'll see over here, we have a table. It doesn't really look like a table because we only have one cell. Um, and these, this uh, dotted border here is just something Dreamweaver does so that we can see the table. It is not actually visible in the browser. So let's make a, another cell. And I'm just going to copy and paste here for speed. So now you can see we have a row of four columns. Um, if we wanted to make another row, we simply make another row as such. And maybe you don't want to have four columns in the second row here. We can use what's called column span or col span uh, attribute um, in one of these columns. Um, attributes are generally placed inside of the opening tag. Um, and here is what it looks like. The attribute name, equal sign, and double quotes. Yeah, it's just the correct way to do it. Um, we're going to say we want this to span across two columns, which we're going to need to get rid of this column here. And you'll see now we have this column spanning across the two. If we wanted to, we could completely remove all four of these and make the span four. Or, as you see here, we are missing a cell if we don't, um, which could cause errors on your page. Um, another uh, attribute would be a line, which will place the contents of this cell or column uh, in the center if you make it center. Um, the next tag I want to look at is a link tag, which a link is the A tag. And the most important attribute of a, of a link tag is the href. We are going to put the URL or URI uh, in here to where we want to go, um, or the destination of the link. So we will put in my website, and the we won't see anything here because we haven't uh, given the link any text. And now we can see we have a link here. You might say you want just the this is to be the link which is popular or like a click here and I'm going to touch on another tag here that's not going to be very uh, uh, make a whole lot of sense at the moment it's it's main it's more used for CSS um, which is the div tag and the div tag is basically an empty um, element it's used for wrapping and manipulating several items um, with uh, CSS classes um, or rules. Using HTML attributes, we can probably give an example of what this could do. Um, say we wrap this div um, around our content here. So we put the opening div here and the closing div tag here. And in good form, let's bump these out here, tab them out. Um, visibly, we don't see anything. However, Dreamweaver does show us the border here, which is showing that the div is uh, going around this and spanned at 100% by default. What we can do is use some simple CMS with the style attribute. Um, which allows us to put CSS inside um, tags here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the width and we're just going to make it 100 pixels. 
um, each uh, CSS um, attribute and, and the style parameter here will be divided by this uh, or ended uh, ended or separated that is uh, by the semicolon here and what we'll see here is we've now shrunk everything within this div to uh, 100 pixels wide which is uh, constraining everything here and squeezing it lastly we're gonna look at the image tag which I don't actually have a sample image for this we're just it's gonna show a placeholder in the preview but you'll get the uh, gist of it um, the most important attribute of an image tag is the source this is where you specify which image is going to be displayed here um, we're just going to leave it empty um, the next attribute that is important is the uh, width and height and we'll just say 640 and height is 480 and we'll close the tag um, proper format would be this here and we're gonna see a placeholder here for the image if I would have put an image um, name in the source here uh, you would have seen the image here um, generally you can give a uh, path that's uh, relative to where we are in the uh, document folder uh, or directory which generally you would have a folder called images something to that effect of course now it's telling me it's broken because that image does not exist um, or if you were sourcing uh, uh, referencing an image that's on another website you might put in the entire path something like that. The very last thing I'm going to show you is just some proper um, commenting techniques that are kind of important if this were an actual uh, web page we were building we might uh, want to put a comment here at the end of this div This just starts. This kind of just tells us um, that this is the end of the div. Uh, the reason for doing this in this document is not very apparent because we only have this one div. So of course we're going to know that this is the closing tag. However, many times, uh, especially when using CSS, we have several divs um, inside of divs inside of divs, and it can get kind of confusing when you get down the document and you just see a bunch of closing div tags. Um, um, another thing you could do is comment the uh, table something like this assuming that we were um, displaying products here and of course this doesn't show up on the page um, but it helps if we had several tables on this document it would help somebody coming in here to find out this is the products table um, also very handy if we were doing a uh, find where we could type in and it would bring us to that part of the uh, document um, that concludes this tutorial. Again, this is just me kind of aimlessly going through different tags. Um, there are several other tags in HTML, especially now in HTML5. Um, but uh, we're not going to get into them here. This is just kind of uh, an explanation. Uh, the next tutorial will actually build a, a very simple web page from start to finish. Uh, very quickly, though, before we go, I, I want to show you uh, one of our authors on the uh, Digital Craft uh, wrote a uh, simple uh, HTML editor IDE um, which I think uh, if you're exploring tags and stuff then you don't have things like Dreamweaver or anything like that and you just kinda wanna see what they, uh, the tags do and look like and test them out this is a great little tool for that um, you 
can go to brandonsoft.com and click on software and download it for free. Uh, let's take a look at it really quick. <coughs> uh, here it is. It's, it's a very, very lightweight um, application. You can go ahead and type some code in here. And then just simply go over to view and see what this uh, looks like. Um, we can go ahead and make a paragraph. And he's got some quick little insert HTML here. Say bold. And check out what it looks like. Um, and you can save your page and edit it. I mean, this is a a uh, text editor, um, HTML editor, you can use it uh, to build web pages if you like. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you that, and again, brandonsoft.com. Uh, yeah, he does some really great tutorials on Visual Basic, um, which you can, uh, they're featured here on the Digital Craft site. Uh, down here at the Visual Basic section, uh, you can always click on all videos and see all of his tutorials. We're uh, writing tutorials here. Uh, pretty frequently now, at least a couple each week.